Hey guys, Ethan from Microchip Technology. Today, we're going to take a look at a demo developed by our applications team that measures the speed and distance covered by a small rotating wheel. This demonstration displays the capabilities of our PIC16 F15 244 microcontroller on the Curiosity Nano development board along with two click boards from Microelectronica, the DC motor 8 click and the bi hall click. This application can be expanded to implement a speedometer for bicycles, automobiles, and other forms of transportation. In this video, we'll explore the implemented circuit in the integrated microcontroller peripherals using this design. For more information about this demonstration, please visit the links in the description below. Let us begin with pulse width modulation, or PWM. PWM allows for the control of the average output power by controlling how long the signal is on and off for. Common applications of PWM include LED dimming, variable speed motor control, and countless other possibilities. The term duty cycle is used to describe the ratio of on time to the complete period of the PWM. For example, if you had a 5 volt output with a duty cycle of 40%, the average voltage would be 2 volts over the cycle. In terms of motor control, by adjusting the duty cycle of the PWM, the speed of the wheel can be increased or decreased. The DC motor A click is a DC motor driver which can drive simple brushed DC motors. These cannot be directly driven by the microcontroller since they require a certain amount of current and voltage. To vary the speed of the wheel, press the button on the Curiosity Nano. There are three different speeds pre-programmed with the first speed being the slowest and the last speed being the fastest. The addition of the buy hall click allows for a simple solution to determine the speed and distance covered by the wheel. The buy hall click can detect magnetic poles and will output a high logic level when exposed to a south pole and a low logic level when exposed to a north pole. To detect rotation, a magnet attached to the wheel will pass near the sensor, which will generate a pulse. These pulses will be captured by the Capture, Compare, PWM peripheral, also known as the CCP, to determine speed and distance. The CCP allows for the measurement and control of different events, as well as to generate PWM signals. The CCP can operate in one of the following three modes. In Capture mode, when a user defined event is detected, the 16-bit period register, CCPRX, captures and stores a value in the 16-bit odd number TMRX register. These events can be configured to occur either on the rising edge or falling edge of the signal. In compare mode, the 16-bit value of the CCPRX register is constantly compared against the 16-bit value of the odd number TMRX register until a match occurs. Once the match occurs, a user-defined event is triggered based on the configuration of the mode control bits. Some possible events include triggering an ADC read or toggling a pin. In PWM mode, an even number timer module starting with timer 2 can be used to produce a PWM output signal on the CCPX pins. For this demonstration, the CCP peripheral was configured to operate in the capture mode. Once the pulse signal is captured by the CCP, it counts the number of pulses generated as one pulse signal is equal to one complete rotation. Speed and distance covered by the wheel are calculated based on the number of rotations completed in a specified duration. These values are then displayed in a serial terminal window on a computer. The onboard USART peripheral was set up to send UART and 9600 baud to the computer for visual purposes. That's all. For more information on this demo, please remember to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe for more.